This is Roy Kick Legend, and today we're going to talk about snap kicking the heavy bag. So welcome to Kick a Legend, where I try to help you athleticize your art and put art into your fight. Uh, as I talk about introducing various other striking arts into your fight game, uh, the snap kick is often going to come up, or the savat kick, or the taekwondo or karate kick, what have you, striking with the instep of the foot. Uh, early in my martial arts journey, I was training incorrectly. I was kicking everything in sight uh, just to kind of think I was doing conditioning, and I attribute some of my chronic left ankle problems to that period of training in my life, so I want to do a short video on that to maybe avoid that in your own training as you try to explore this. Uh, you'll often see people kick the heavy bag with the instep of their foot remarkably hard, and uh, you might want to get to that right away, especially if you already have done a lot of Muay Thai or MMA, and you're generally athletic and pretty tough. But let's think about what kicking with the instep of the foot really looks like against the hard target. Uh, you're really doing a wrench about the ankle joint or even kind of, you can think about it as a lot of mini straight ankle locks over and over again as the instep of your foot is stopped at the bag and the rest of your leg keeps on going. Now, this is fine against uh, fleshy targets and fine against a bag that has give. So if I'm kicking midline and this bag isn't too hard, hitting with the ball of the foot's fine because the bag gives uh, I've built up a little bit of conditioning about the joint, but basically it's the bag giving that preserves my body. Right? But, for those of you who train in a lot of more MMA Muay Thai gyms, you all know the bottom of certain bags become hard as rocks. And for some of you, before you've really gotten your shin conditioning up, it's even not pleasant to kick that part of the bag with your shin. And I want to admonish you to not kick hard with your foot when you're working with a bag like that. This bag is decently hard right now, and I just, before the start of this video, kicked it a few times with a lot of follow through with my foot, and it's really not pleasant. Uh, just doing kind of this medium or very light power is already making me uncomfortable because I've already hit it once hard. So I want you to think about, it's not about toughness. It's about damage, right? The instep feels fine, but I'm really wrecking havoc on the joint. So if I want to practice the low kick on a hard, heavy bag, I have to strike the surface more and just bounce back. So now it becomes targeting. It becomes part of my overall kickboxing workout. Low kick, punches, maybe midline kick after but I can't afford to blast away at a hard heavy bag with the instep. It's just not good for your body. It's not a question about how tough you are. So I just wanted to point that out, something that gave me problems in my martial arts journey. I want to help anyone who's watching hopefully avoid that. This is Roy Kick Legend here at Michigan Kickboxing Academy. Keep your chin down, elevate your striking.